Hey there, it's Steve from Serious Keto, and in this video, we are going to make some Vietnamese scallion sauce. It is finally summer here in Wisconsin, and that means over the next probably two months, I'm going to have a lot of recipe videos that are related to either grilling or barbecue or smoking or the side dishes or condiments that come along with grilling and barbecue and smoking. For this video, I'm going to be making mahan, which is a Vietnamese scallion sauce that can go on just about anything, from seafood to beef to chicken, even vegetables. I had originally seen this condiment on an episode of Milk Street TV. Unfortunately, on the TV show, they don't very often give the actual ingredients or recipe. They just kind of show themselves putting it together. So I did my best to kind of come up with my version of it, and I also ketofied it a little bit. There were a couple of ingredients that they used that weren't necessarily keto or not necessarily clean keto. So here we go. Let's make some Vietnamese scallion sauce. We're going to start by prepping our scallions. You want about five or six of them, depending on the size. And I'm going to start by just cutting them in half. Then I'm going to cut the white ends the long way because I just want to make this easier to chop. Then I'll get the green parts. And then I'll give this a little additional chop. All right, this looks pretty good. So we are going to transfer this to a heat resistant bowl. I'm just using a Pyrex four cup measuring cup or 1000 mil. We'll set this off to the side and prep our ginger. Now, quick tip here on peeling ginger. You can do this with a spoon pretty easily. See the skin? Just comes right off. And I want about one and a half tablespoons of this. Now you can freshly grate it like I'm doing, or you can get the stuff in a jar. This looks close enough, so I'm going to transfer this to a little bowl for later. Back to our scallions. We're going to add one teaspoon of ground black pepper. And a generous pinch of sea salt. Then using fingertips, we're going to massage that salt and pepper into the green onions until they just start to wilt a little bit. Oh, it's really releasing the smell. All right, we'll set this aside, wash my hands, and then heat up our oil. To a small saucepan, we're going to add 60 ml or one quarter cup of neutral oil. I'm using avocado oil. If you want, you could use MCT oil. You could probably even get away with using coconut oil if you want a slightly coconutty taste. I think that might be good on something like shrimp or chicken. Then we'll heat this up until it starts to shimmer. On an induction burner, this takes almost no time. Look at this. We're already over 300 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to turn off the heat and then pour my oil over the scallions. Give this a stir. Then we'll add in our ginger. half tablespoon of sweetener. I'm using allulose. And then we get to decision time for you. On the video, they said you can use either soy sauce, which means you could also use coconut aminos, or you can use fish sauce. Now, fish sauce would be more traditional. I have found that I have a little bit of an issue with fish sauce. Even though every time I see anybody use it in a recipe, they say, oh, go ahead and use fish sauce. It won't taste fishy it still kind of comes off as a little bit fishy to me. I've got some Red Boat fish sauce here, which every review I've read said that this is the best fish sauce. And it still smells an awful lot like my cat's breath to me. So we're actually going to do 
a mixture of both fish sauce and soy sauce, adding up to one and a half tablespoons. So I think we're gonna go with one half tablespoon of the fish sauce and one tablespoon of coconut aminos or soy sauce. Stir together. And then while this cools off, I'm gonna make a steak to put it on. All right, I have some duck fat here in cast iron, just starting to smoke. All right, this is looking pretty spectacular right here. I think we'll pull it off, let it sit, and then carve it up. I overcooked this a bit. This is uh, a lot closer to medium than medium rare. I may have even overshot medium just a little bit. Spoon on a little sauce for the thumbnail. Pluck a little chunk out and give it a taste. Like I said, I always get a little bit concerned when it comes to fish sauce. The level of umami in this is off the charts. That is, <laughs> that is absolutely goosebump inducing. That is how good this is. I mean, obviously the scallions are the primary flavor, but you get a little bit of that ginger in there and the fish sauce, I, I'm amazed. I, I don't pick up any fish sauce. I could probably do even more fish sauce. I can't even imagine what kind of umami bomb that would be. I gotta have another bite. Mm. That is absolutely delightful. And the next time I make it, not only am I probably gonna up the fish sauce a little bit, I think I'm gonna try it with coconut oil and put this over some shrimp or some chicken. I think that would be just amazing. As always, I will link down in the description below to the printable recipe with all the macros. Um, boy, I don't know what else to say. I guess if you like this video, please click that like button. If you're not a subscriber already, tap that subscribe button, then hit the bell to turn on all notifications. So get out there, fire up your grill, and try out this Vietnamese scallion sauce. Great stuff. Thanks for watching.